a bit off with it. <gasps> oh, outmaneuvered. That was a good one. Is it going to be like airspace too crowded? Uh, back when there wasn't limitations and you can call in two kill streaks at the same time. Whether you're. Uh, I fucking hate that shit in modern COD. It's like, oh, you can't call in your Harrier because the other team has the Harrier in. It's like, man, fuck the other team. I'm calling my Harrier in. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Ah! He had the same idea as me. So here we are again. Now, if you have more attention span than an iPad child, I know it's a little late to be talking about H2M. We're two weeks, maybe even three weeks behind since the mod files got leaked, but I've been playing it nonstop since that happened. Let me tell you, it's been way more fun than playing modern Call of Duty. In fact, a lot of people were saying that Activision purposely put Modern Warfare Remastered on sale because of the mod and then ripped away from all of us, but I think the opposite. I think what happened was the mod came out and the sales of Modern Warfare Remastered spiked to the top of the Steam charts and Activision was like, wait a minute, why are we making all these deals on this old Call of Duty all of a sudden? And they looked into it and they saw the mod and they're like, hey, that's not fair. You can't give us money to have fun. God forbid we play Call of Duty the way we want to play, the fun way. No, 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 no. We have to play their way. We have to play the way Activision wants us to play. We can't We can't have fun, that's not possible. H2M, if you haven't heard by now, the files got leaked and a ton of people have their hands on it, myself included. Thank God, we're finally fed up with Activision's bullshit. I wish this happened with SM2, because in my personal opinion, SM2 would have been a way more fun mod because they had original maps with it, plus not just like Modern Warfare 2's weapons, but a collection of COD weapons throughout history along with mastery camos. They were going to have a whole shop where you can earn points in-game to get cool cosmetic items for the game and just like a lot of stuff to grind out. But H2M did add a bunch of new camos to the Modern Warfare 2 guns and there's no unlock tool so you actually have to play the game to earn everything. Or at least as far as I know, I don't know, there's been, like, max prestige level of thousands, which wasn't a thing in MW2, that's new to the mod. There's been max prestige level of thousands running around in some of the lobbies, so either they really know life to shit out of it, or they created their own server and somehow spiked the XP gain. I don't understand Activision's reasoning for the cease and desist, especially since Black Ops 3 has mods and Activision says that's okay. Cool, you can do custom zombies. There's no problem. But no. Oh, you made a really good multiplayer? No, no, no. no. You're not you're not allowed to make a better multiplayer than us. They're just pissed that a handful of dudes in their mom's basements made a better Call of Duty than they did. And they're pissed because they saw there were more sales in Modern Warfare Remastered than there are players in Modern Warfare 3 2023. I, I'm so sick of this, especially with all the stuff coming out about Black Ops 6, the zombies and how everybody's been disappointed with the zombies right now. Why do they have armored plates in round based zombies? Why is round based zombies Warzone? I, it's on Game Pass, so I don't have to pay a penny for it. <laughs> Activision, you freaking idiots. Omni movement just cranked the movement levels up to 1000. There needs to be some sort of stamina movement penalties. What I noticed in H2M is the minute you jump, you can't move. In some instances, like if you jump forward, you can move in the direction you're facing. But if you jump to the side, you're not moving side to side. I prefer that in my opinion. It takes more skill to play older Call of Duty than it does to play modern Call of Duty. If you rely on movement to play COD, you're not good at COD. <laughs> I'm just breaking it down for you. Little stamina crutches like that are what brought the gun skill of the game as a factor to the gameplay in older Call of Duties. It's a first person shooter, it was about the guns, not about parkour. You're not playing Mirror's Edge. So, H2M is alive and well. There's a couple bugs with the files. I don't know if that's all of the leaked files or if the game was just unfinished or if it's just the leaked files I have. Uh, when you boot up the game, the Modern Warfare Remastered boot up repeats. It's on a loop and it won't go away. Even when you're creating your classes, you can still hear the reboot music in the background, like the night vision turning on and the... <laughs> 
that's on a loop and it plays over and over again. If you let it sit for a while, it does go out. I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know if it's just my files or if that's how it is for everyone. Another thing is that this is host-based servers. So some of the servers, like you go to the map vote at the end of the game and sometimes it doesn't load the next game and it just kicks you back to the main menu screen. I don't know if it's just the files that are like that or if it's the whoever's hosting the server doesn't have it set up correctly. When H2M was going to come out by the people making it, it was going to work like a regular COD lobby where you hit play online, find a match, you select your game mode, you finish the match, you get to wait for the next match to load while you get to mess around with your classes and then you go on. Whoever's the host, they can do whatever they want in terms of people playing. So if they just don't like the way you're playing, they can just kick you. There's a lot of trick shotting servers. In fact, more than half of the servers are trick shot only servers. And it's just like, guys, we're trying to play Modern Warfare 2, not uh, dance around with an intervention. Not everybody, at least. It's very niche, and every time I see a trick shot server, it's, there's only like four people in it. If the host doesn't like the way you're playing, they can just kick you. I actually, uh, the last clip of this gameplay footage that you're gonna see here in a second, I actually got kicked from the server. I was top of the leaderboards, I was doing really good, and I got kicked, and the message reason for being kicked said, nope. It literally just said nope. Like he just, I was doing too good and he didn't want me in there anymore, so he kicked me. So that's the downside, there are some flaws to it. Don't know why modding Black Ops 3 is okay, but modding Modern Warfare Remastered isn't. Maybe it's just strictly a Treyarch thing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my little yapping about Modern Warfare Remastered, Modern Warfare Remastered 2, H2M mod, and uh, enjoy the gameplay footage for the rest of this video. Parkour. The good old delay when you jump, you can't just start strafing immediately after. That's what a real Call of Duty's like. They definitely increase the sprint speed compared to the actual MW2. Fuck. Cap. <laughs> well, first game and somebody already dropped a nuke on us. Oh, let's fucking go. I always thought the Barrett was the first one, but I guess they wanted you to have fun. But the COD4 sniper, USB, space. The loading bar's a bit buggy. Yeah, okay, so this is, uh. They're not gonna be able to update it and fix anything that might be wrong. So what we have is what we get. Cool thing about this is you can, eh, eh, you can lean them corners. This will be good for search. I'll get some people off guard. I wonder if the player model actually leans over. Gotta be like a mouse acceleration because I keep losing control. I've turned the sensitivity down like 50 times. Alright, I just gotta get used to it. Ah! I couldn't move after I jumped! Changing map. Nice. Yeah, bro's definitely aimbotting. What was that? <laughs> I don't want your cheap viewers. <laughs> Ain't no way. You see me? I was a movement god. 30 kills, 40 kills. Oh, they changed the way it works. You just gotta. Ooh, the thermal looks different. It works, but they changed it. You no longer have to use the red dot to get the holographic and so on and so forth. All oh, headshots, 100 headshots to get gold. That's not bad. 100 shots is easy work. 
gold for all assault rifles, 7 diamond camos, 100 kills, these are just regular kills, cool. Polyatomic. Okay, so it's just kills. 1250 kills. Elemental, also just kills, that's kinda lame. I thought there'd be like, some different challenges. Earn a tactical nuke. There we go. Call in 10 nukes. Aw, oh, baloney. The key to these older CODs is you really don't want to sprint around corners because the movement isn't, you know, one fluid liquid motion like it is with modern Call of Duty. So if you're caught sprinting around a corner, coming out of that animation is going to be hard because not only... Nice. Because you don't just have to come out of that animation with modern COD, but you also can slide, you can jump, you can wiggle around that, you know, makes it harder for your opponent to shoot you while you're coming out of that sprint animation but here you can't do all that once you come out of the sprint animation so you you're cooked if you turn the corner sprinting see if he was prepared and he knifed me there coming out of that sprint animation would have been what killed me but luckily he wasn't paying attention i see you nice nice good shit <laughs> oh, that probably pissed them off. I might get kicked, honestly. Alright, we're cooked. Just the USP. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was embarrassing. What's interesting is, like, the USP does not look like a big handgun in Call of Duty, but I held one in real life once. It's a beefy pistol. Where's the carnival map at? What are y'all doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck him up, fuck him up. See, when Modern Warfare 2 was out, when I've had my hands on online multiplayer. Black Ops 1 was the main COD, so I never got to actually play Modern Warfare 2 in its prime day multiplayer. But it's still very well populated. But I never owned the DLC maps, so it's nice that I get to finally actually play the DLC maps on a populated server. Oh, that's game. Those already got Harrier and Pavlo. Do you call them at the same time? Naft me first. It doesn't feel the same as I remember it. It's got the classic sound, but something's a bit off with it. It's a little too uh, staticky sounding when you shoot it. Like that sounds a bit too staticky. Sixty-seven and three is crazy. I forgot about rapid fire. Oh, I was so ready to drop shoot right there. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I was gonna say. A hundred and three kills is crazy. Good show. Alright, we gotta back out though, cause uh, let's put some attachments on that UMP. I remember back in the day, seeing a nuke was rare. You'd probably see like one or two nukes a day. 
on the game. Not every fucking match. <laughs> my plan. Okay, I don't know how that flashed me. Damn. People really love sniping. Wish I could pull up the server info to see if it's just like a trick shot only server. Good reload cancel, let's fucking go. I was like I was gonna say no assist, but then I realized it's free for all. Oh I'm gonna run out of ammo! Ah! Aw, did you bastards really kick me? You are kicked. Reason? Nope. That's kind of... That's kind of poopy. I don't even kind of, that's really poopy. That's so dumb.